What's going on, everybody? Brian here from Brian's Broadcast. I hope all of you are doing fantastic. Last evening, I went to the supermarket and got some really nice grapefruit. Now, this thing immediately gave me an idea that I should share some of my really liked and loved citrus fragrances because there's a lot of you who are entering the game just now. And there are other people who really want to explore a bit more, although they got some negative feedback from other YouTubers or reviewers that these fragrances are dated, old and stuff like that. But let me tell you something. You try what you like. If you like it, go for it. And just for the record, I have a microphone set up outside because today it's raining heavily outside in New York City and I wanted to capture the sound of the rain besides the sound of my own voice. I don't know how much better it's going to sound, but I just wanted to include the rain sounds. So let's not delay. Let's talk about these beautiful fragrances. First, I'm going to show you five designer fragrances. These are very popular. If you have not tried them yet, I highly recommend give it a shot. Get a decant, get a sample. Do give them a shot. First up, I want to start with Dolce Gabbana Light Blue Intense. Beautiful grapefruit stuff. Like Some people complain there's a eggy like rotten egg kind of smell but then again it depends on the skin chemistry but at the same time i'll tell you something this thing smells fantastic in the air not all fragrances are supposed to be smelled directly off the skin like you don't do that right so you know like this thing smells nice in the air and that's all you need because people are not going to come to your skin directly and smell it next up versace dylan blue citrus and broxen bomb beautiful stuff a lot of people complain they don't get enough performance well this is pretty old bottle and because i have a lot of other fragrances um this one gets some break of course but i love this one beautiful stuff works great on me next up we have Vers uh, sorry bentley for men azure green citrus fragrance with some really soothing quality to it beautiful stuff must try out it's a very cheap fragrance with great and phenomenal longevity that was the surprising part and then again we have aqua di Gio, the og of course it's a very dated fragrance but trust me it still smells legit not too many people out there are fragged so of course this one is gonna be you know like it's popular it's mass appealing go for it give it a shot it's not too expensive it's very cheap performance might be lacking but of course because of the price you can always get a bigger bottle and then you know do an overspray or whatever you want ck1 wonderful citrus vanilla kind of combination i absolutely love this one and it's been sitting for quite some time you can see the juice color has turned and honestly the performance has gone up this is very nice. In my opinion, it comes in pretty cheap. I think um, this was a 200 ml bottle. I got it for what, like 25 or $30. Very cheap, very affordable. You can definitely pull this off easily during the summer heat. Next, I'm going to show you five niche fragrances. Now, of course, these may be out of budget for, for a lot of you. So, of course, give them a try before you buy. Starting off the list with Royal Crown's Celebration. I'm sorry about the lighting, guys, but... This is the beautiful bottle, like royal stuff. Wonderful heavy bottle and the citrus mint combo is something very refreshing. Like it's elegant. It's very elegant. It's not your typical medicinal kind of vibe that you get from your mint. It's a very cooling, soothing mint with the, all that citrus. Beautiful stuff. Next up, Nishane Wulong Chai. If you have not heard about this, if you have not tried this, I highly recommend give it a shot. Green tea with all that beautiful florals and some citruses. Wonderful stuff. Fantastic longevity on this one. Like this thing lives throughout the entire workday and more. Next up, we have a controversial house because I hear a lot of people talk about them, how there's YouTubers releasing fragrances and they reviewed each other's fragrance. But hey, listen, although I'm a YouTuber, I'm not collaborating with those guys. And of course, this is an honest opinion. Um, this is Navitas Perfumes. Siesta Drive, wonderful, almost gourmand vanilla citrus balm with some sit, um, sweetness to it. Beautiful stuff. Longevity is great on this one. Trust me, get this fragrance. Don't listen to the YouTubers who are like big shots. Listen to YouTubers like me who will give you the honest opinion because I did not get a sponsored bottle. This is something that I bought with my own money. I have every right to dissect this particular fragrance and that's what I'm doing. This is really nice. Highly recommend go ahead and test it out next up we have zerjaf renaissance 
beautiful stuff that citrus mint and especially it's i in my review full review i described this one as having the essence of freshly crushed lemon leaves i have a lemon tree right behind me and of course i have plants in my house because we are keeping it indoors because until the temperatures go up we're going to keep it indoors we try to save those plants but there's a lemon tree on my right side it's a beautiful feeling trust me one of the most refreshing feeling you will get really realistic citrus stuff very nice fantastic longevity great stuff must try do not buy at full retail though and this is not worth it if you're buying full retail see if you can get a like a, somewhere in the groups or in some discounters for a lower price this is really good stuff last but not the least i don't hear a lot of people talk about this this is agdenis from unique luxury i keep on talking about this one because this is a true beast mode fragrance wonderful citrus fruity combination with a pinch of salt and some leathery vibe to it do not be concerned about the fact that there's leather because it's a very different fragrance it stands out in the crowd and has fantastic pushing power throughout the entirety i got way more than 10 12 plus hours with this one um i mean honestly it's one of the most beautiful citrus fragrances that stands out it's very unique very different not your typical citrus um salty combination so that's my 10 fragrances five designer five niche fragrances for you guys who are starting out or looking for something new besides the designers so you guys let me know in the comments if you have any favorites or what do you prefer let me know your list in the comments below maybe if i discover something new i will be happy to try those fragrances and review it on my channel until the next one guys please take care stay safe and all the best